Welcome back. And our kitty is our special guest here, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Damn, no stress bar. It's gonna be tricky. We might have to just ditch this team out completely for now, which is not the end of the world. Uh, we can try out the Dampier or something like that. Or just go to that other team comp we were using, or something similar. Is it even worth stressing out here? You're only hitting this guy. I think it's still worth. And let's go ahead and haste here. Dang, still don't get everyone to move in a reasonable order. But yeah, we'll have to swap out team comp here, I think, for this floor. We'll see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, everything's working there. We have a spell thief here. And living armor here. Ooh. Immune to stress attacks does not escape. 50% attack plus 50% until the battle ends each time Eratus casts a spell. Oh! We maybe we should check that first. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead, curse, and remove ward at least. We have. Wait, are you the. Someone can also clear debuff, so that might have been the mummy. Ooh, thank you for missing. Come again. Alright, let's go ahead and debuff these guys. They shouldn't be immune to the debuffs, thankfully, so this should still be decent. Yep, yeah, we hit them with the debuffs. You're insane. You're actually insane, the mad lad. Um, you could stress everyone out. We could curse. We could start hitting them, too. I think we do just alt here. Target loses all initiative, removes all buff from target. Uh, who's going next? This guy. So we could... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and stress attack this guy. Even though he doesn't take the stress, it will remove that buff. Which that's his hit, which again does nothing. Alright. Wah! I'm glad we did that. Alright, I think we do ignore stress for now. Uh, oh, this guy might just escape. Yeah, we could charge forward. Makes some of our team kind of useless, but... Let's just do it. Leading. Uh, let's debuff everyone again. No, it only hit one. We could move back while getting defensive while also letting our guy get dirty and get into a better position where he can death grasp if he wants to. Or maybe we just swap everyone around. Not bad. Um Yeah, I want I just I want this is mostly just to use Wrath. A little greedy, but Oh yeah, she was in stance too, where she gets to hit him when they move, but that doesn't do much. Uh, can we get rid of that? Remove all debuffs from allies, we don't have it. Alright, so no, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess let's hit with the, the big curse. Why not? <laughs> Okay, the block, that's fine. That's also fine. We're pretty tanky. Yeah. Uh, sure, let's go ahead. I guess we'll hit this guy. Decent. Being born nice heart attack. First mistake. Opposing me. Uh, go ahead, buff everyone up. Actually, uh, we should be getting in a position where we can crescendo, so that means you getting towards the back. Damn, that would uh, make them do more damage, though, so let's wait on that. Who does reduce, uh, remove the buffs? 
Okay, we can Necrotic Wind to remove buffs. I thought we had an AoE debuff clear, but maybe not in this team comp. Oh, we need to be checking the full thing as well. Removes all buffs from the target. So yeah, that's single target buff removal. So yeah, we've got single target buff removal there. We've got the Necrotic Wind, will Wind of Oblivion removes buffs as well. That extends the debuffs. Um, Alright, yeah, so we've just got these two guys who have the removal. Uh, yeah, these two guys. So we'll, we'll try to use our movement abilities on their turn. So unfortunately that means you don't really get to do much. We'll... Extends all debuffs, so we might as well do that. We're focusing on this one. So yeah, let's go ahead, just alt here. You'll extend the debuffs though. Alright, cool. Whatever. Ow. So yeah, we do want to bring Banshee up when we can. Uh, we could move you back specifically to get that, but it's not exactly what I want. We really want to be moving this guy back. Um, yeah, we could trap, we could start hitting with magic. Uh, or we could remove the debuff here. You know what, maybe we move back, remove this debuff, and then this guy will have one debuff. Yeah, let's do that. It means you can't... Wait, no, we don't want to move you back, though. Ah, this is complicated. No, stop. Because, yeah, yeah, we want to move this guy back. Is now a good time, though? Ah, because we can only remove debuffs from this position. Very annoying. Uh, I guess we just remove the debuff here so he does less damage and then move, worry about moving later. Ow. Alright, let's go ahead. Nice, a crit. He's got minus 30 luck, I think. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright, this is fine. We'll move back. Once. Strength through pain. Shit! Oh! I keep forgetting how that works. It doesn't move the turn, it moves everyone. So yeah, I've screwed it up again. I screwed it up again and we're, uh, really bad. Oh, that's so annoying. See, we can extend debuffs again. It's not really worth our wrath, though. I think we'll have better use, so let's just wait. I can't believe I did that again. Um, let's go ahead and debuff these guys. I wonder which is better, removing their debuff. So yeah, let's uh... Huh, does it not increase? It says each time a rat is cast a spell. Go ahead and remove it on this guy since we're going to be trying to kill the other guy. And... Go ahead and remove it on this guy as well. Yeah, this is not exactly where we want to be, but we'll get there. Alright, miss. Kill me single attack that time. That time he tripled. Alright, so there's not a whole lot we can do. And we're not even allowed to wait. Uh... Sure. And, sure, let's go ahead and heal up here. Decent. 
And there are no... Yeah, let's go ahead and hit him with that. That's especially good since they attack multiple times, so... Sometimes. Alright, we could move forward, but that just puts the Banshee in place. Uh, let's just wait. Alright. We could move you back one, sure. Strength through pain. And then do some physical damage here. Nice. Comes for you. The crit. And let's go ahead, Wind of Oblivion, to remove this guy's damage buff. And let's go ahead, hopefully, kill this guy. Nice. Oh, six health. That's fine. We can go ahead and kill this guy. Excellent. And go ahead and stun this guy. One. And he doesn't have debuffs right now. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and move forward. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start whomping this guy. Nice. And let's go ahead and debuff again. Let's go ahead and do some physical. I'm going to say probably a crit because we've got him down to negative 30 luck. Pretty decent crit chance. Nice. And you missed. Uh, we can swap here, give him less evasion as well. We could also just hit here. Let's do it. Nice. Uh, we don't have quite enough to hold there, unfortunately. No crit either. Um, it's done. Nice. And let's kill. Perfect. Well, not perfect. A little, little, little sloppy. Another step yeah. towards my eternal kingdom. Ooh, two bones. How close are we to the bone golem? Uh, did you, did you, did you, where are we? Over here. Right. Under a thousand towards the blood phantasm. Excellent. And... Under 10 for the Bone Golem. So 9, yep, 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 very nice. We still want to deal more damage to ourselves. So yeah, I think we will bring a different team comp. Uh, sure, let's get, let's get some items and then figure out which way we're going. Minion receives one random bonus until the end of turn. I don't like the when enemies when allies die thing because we obviously try to avoid that. Orb of negation. We can put that on our banshee for more survivability. Randomness sounds kind of fun though. Let's I grab that. I'm not sure we'll even it. use it, but um. So yeah, we've got. Let's see which way we want to go here. It's so vast. Wow, it really is. All right, let's see what we want here. What's our top priority? Cultist, uh, that's sacrificial altar. Cultist up there would be kind of nice. Maybe we can finally get that. Except maybe we don't focus stress anymore. We could try out the dampier, like I was saying. Dampier seems pretty good. Where would we want the dampier going? Uh, let's look at creation, see what all our options are. Fallen Dampier, Headhunter, two random enemies, dealing very high damage. Decent damage, so yeah, that would be frontline.
Okay, yeah. This guy, so yeah, if we wanted to go full offense, this guy does a lot of physical damage. We'd want something along that removes armor. What is that? I think there's one that uh, removes armor. I don't remember who it was though. Maybe even damn. Oh yeah, target loses a lot of armor. So yeah, we could go like full physical dampier, uh, headless. Or yeah, I keep wanting to call him headless headhunter. Lich is mostly magic damage. We could do that. We could just go full random as well. Selected ally gains attack and dread for two turns. Kills an ally. Summons a skeleton. That could be interesting too, and then we could like... I wonder if sacrifice counts as dealing damage. Because yeah, we could we could run a three-man team actually of the Lich and then fill the spot with a skeleton instantly. So yeah, we could go like Lich, uh, Lich, Dampier, Headhunter, or even something like that if we wanted. Or the Vampire. Yeah, that could be interesting to try out. Unfortunately, it does use bones, which might... We'll see if that goes back up or if it's total bone count. Um, but yeah, we could go Lich. That gets us towards Ghoul as well. Let's see, who do we currently have stuck in here? The Shade could be interesting to try out as well. guy seems mostly support with the void cause. It's pretty interesting too though. I kind of want to try like Dampier, Headhunter, and Lich because uh, that's... Is, is that right? Because that's three new guys to try out. Uh, but yeah, Headhunter just does massive damage. Dampier also does massive damage with the ability to rip armor which is nice and Lich does decent damage as well as buffing people um, but one reason the lich would be good is I think it lets us deal a bunch of damage to our own units uh, towards this I wonder if you could bring just a lich that would be kind of funny uh, alright I think we'll do it so does this guy require bones thankfully not actually I don't we'll see if this counts or not now yeah, let's build a lich I don't think we'll use special specialist uh, things yet. We could. We've got all the stuff, but I don't know if we'll like them, so we'll just use basics for now. So that's yeah, nine to Bone Golem. Let's see how this Ooh, works. A vessel of indiscriminate Still says nine, magical so that should be carnage. fine. Yep, cool. All right, that's fine. And let's build a headhunter as well. Again, still basic. Alright, and so yeah, I think something like that will do, and then we will have to use three brains, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, let's see what positions you like. Any, any moving forward, any except the front moving back. So yeah, second to last would give us decent options. Oh, that's stress, so we don't even care about that. So yeah, last is fine. Second. Oh, we need to be second to last. Ooh, that... Yeah. Does that mean he has to be in front since... Will it push back to here? No, I guess... So yeah, that's, that's fine. Something like this. This guy, we want front lining. I wonder where the skeleton will be created. Actually, that's decent too, so we could leave him in the back to start... She kind of wants to front line, although she's also got the really nice charge attack there. So yeah, I think this looks good for now. Let's go ahead and stick some brains in here. Uh, it feels 
not great committing our high level brains here, but we'll be fine. This is risky, taking an entirely new team that we don't really know how to use onto the floor we're currently at, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see, I kind of want highest brain in Dampier maybe? I think lowest in Lich. Um, You know what, maybe high, highest in Headhunter actually. He's got all this crazy like AoE and just high damage in general. So yeah, let's stick the 23 in Headhunter. Yes, and then we'll level them. And I think we will go ahead and stick 20 and 19 in here. I was like, where'd it go? All right. All right, cool. Let's Let's go ahead and see what we want here. Uh, Lich. Let's start with the alt. Summons a skeleton. Oh, reduces the cost. 16 attack. Okay, so same stats, but reduced cost. That could be good, because with our thing, it would actually re reduce it down to uh, 50, which would then allow us to summon two right off the bat, except we, of course, don't have room. Uh, and this gives us more stats on it. I don't know, maybe we don't spend this at all at one point to see how he performs. Yeah, I think we'll save one point here, actually. And deals damage to two random enemies and an ally on first position. Interesting. So yeah, that would let us rack up the self damage too. We can have the skeleton in first position, I think. So yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna have to be careful because this will deal damage to our first position. I like this. This is fun experimenting with new things. So yeah, we'll turn we'll Get gain shrapnel, which battle. lets us hit two enemies, but our first position ally. Uh, selected ally gains attack and dread for two turns. Selected ally gains more attack and dread for two turns. These, oh, this turns it into moving back instead, which would be better for backlining. We don't want to go all the way back though, so I think we'll do the higher damage. I don't know if that works or not. We'll see. Kills an ally. Immediately sets cooldowns. Nope. 25 bigger, sure. Serve me well, my minion. Cloud. Same positions. Uh, dealing the same amount. An enemy poisoned by the cloud has 3% chance to die immediately. Bosses are immune. An enemy in the cloud loses all armor and resistance. Let's do that one. Seems good. Deals damage to all allies and enemies except itself. Sets target on fire for two turns. Deals damage to all allies, allies and enemies except itself. Sets target on fire for two turns, dealing more damage. Or sets target on fire for two turns, doing same damage. Moves targets to random positions. Uh, let's do more damage here. And again, we'll save this last point till we know how exactly it works and if we can summon multiple skeletons, because reducing the cost could be good. Um, let's see. You're, you have very high attack attack scaling on some of your skills. So yeah, I think we do stick it in attack. You have the honor Let's just of stick everything in attack. Touch. Uh, we're almost maxed. Uh, let's put some in evasion just to keep them alive. I think so. We'll put two in there. Yeah, that looks good. Luck never hurts. And yeah. All right, there's our lich. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Same positions. This deals more damage, ignores armor and block. This deals more armor. This deals same damage, but doesn't miss. Let's. I'm not too concerned about the miss. Let's go ahead and ignore armor and, or actually, deal more damage. I mean, uh, this is 
physical attack. Same damage. Restores mana instead. This deals more bigger. Ah, hey there, Boone. How's Boone? Boone? Boone DJ? Hope I'm getting that right. Uh, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, cool. Yeah, that is an interesting thought. I'm just trying out some new classes here because uh, I realized stress wasn't really working against this floor. So yeah, we're still iterating on this team comp. Uh, comp I will keep the bride in mind. I forget if we have a high level bride or not. I don't think so, but we've got brains. We've got brains. That's debatable. It's debatable if we've got brains or not. So yeah, this does more healing. Or mana. We want that. We want the healing. My enemies are uh, in for a stance. Interrupt stance. Enter the stance and deals physical damage to any enemy that attacks her. Interesting. Good for stripping armor. Yeah, I saw that. That's part of the reason we're bringing her. Headhunter just seems like that uh, deals a lot of damage. So that's part of the reason I was like, let's let's do this. She's got the armor strip here. I forget if she's got it anywhere else. I don't think so. Uh, Counterattacks are always critical hits. I think that's only for this. Oh, I think critical hits only heal on this ability, though, so that's fine. Gives physical damage to me. Counterattacks restore vigor to the fallen damper equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Yeah, let's go more healing. That sounds fun. Trap. So yeah, this lasts longer. Or... Oh, he's getting some more damage. Can't move and loses all initiative. That's pretty decent. And it gives us uh, evasion, but let's go. Eh? Yeah, that's fine. Get back to battle. I'm decisive. Attacks five times. Loses all resistance. That's also pretty My cool. Undead tools uh, so that deals more damage, which does Deadlier. add up. Or same damage. Target loses all resistance. Oh, whoa! I just noticed she's got two alts. That's pretty cool. So we can we can make it cost less or we can make it deal more damage. I'll go with the more damage here. That's really cool. Target lose and is this the same? Yeah. We can make it cost less or deal more damage. We'll go for the more damage. Now, cool. Prove yourself worthy. And for her, we are definitely putting it all into attack. We max that out. We could go survivability or accuracy uh, or luck, of course. Let's start with a little bit of act. Let's start with a little bit of everything. There we go. And I guess more accuracy. Sure. It'll be interesting to try out the new team. Abilities here. All right. He's only got the one out. Uh, let's see. Physical attack attacks two random enemies, dealing 80% damage to each. Or, oh, deals 80% damage to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind it. So we can get less random or hopefully more damage. No. Has a 5% chance of immediately killing an enemy. Kind of like the idea of random. Like, it just seems kind of fun. So we could just go full random here. Or we could make it a little more selectable of what ones we attack. I think I'm just going for the fun here, so we'll go ahead and grab the Vorpal Slash. Plus it sounds badass. Yeah, we'll grab Vorpal I Slash. Expect Catch him. Pokemon. Um, deals 100% damage. Moves it to the first position. Yeah, that's another random one. Same damage. 50% chance to stun the target and ignores block. Oh, it already ignores block, but yeah. 50% chance to stun the target. It's weird that here it set, they move it around, so before the moves it to first position is in the main text, and here it's down as a stat. Um, deals less damage, 
What? Oh, but selectable, I see. So you can select for less damage or keep random and have a chance to stun as well. I Let's do that. Like I said, we're just having fun results. here. Uh, sense them. I was wondering if there's like a catch them, slash them, sense them, but no. We just got the catch them and sense them, which changed to jagged hook. Merk them. Interesting. All right, we have a sense of, oh yeah, I forgot. We'll check that out in a sec, but I've looked at this guy before and his ult is pretty interesting. So stress attack, so we won't be using that much. Um, probably deals stress to a random enemy, but it does move it to a random position or we can deal stress damage le less to two random enemies and moves the target to different positions. Deal same damage. Moves target to random position. Target loses all evasion until the end of battle. That could stack well with our overall aggressive thing, but they haven't been dodging too much. I'm kind of tempted to just grab this for more shuffle potential. I think we will. Serve me well, my minion. This is the trap. Uh, at the beginning of his next action, the headhunter deals damage. Let me at mark position. Uh. Same damage. Hmm. Attack the enemy loses all armor and resistance until the battle ends. So that could be another good shredding ability. Uh, attack enemy loses all blocks and wards. So yeah, we could either get another resistance and armor shred or a uh, block and ward shred. Maybe we should go for the block and ward. It, it would be kind of nice to have another shred here that isn't attached to our alt, but I think we get more utility if we go Intimidating Rage here. So let's do it. Uh, Bloody Harvest deals damage to each enemy. Le no, same damage. Same damage to each enemy and has a 2% chance to kill enemy. Could be fun for the randomness again and gives us offense, which is good. Deals... Oh... Yeah, I like the idea of hitting everyone. It is kind of cool to have a massive hit to a random enemy in any spot. But yeah, let's do the let's do the AOE with chance to kill, and then we have bounty here, which deals massive damage to a single target, ignores block, moves forward, uh, and then we have oh, why do we have him in the back here anyway? Oh yeah, to keep our lich up. We'll see how this goes. We need lich in this spot. I think this is decent. I bounty, so yeah, we have same damage, 50% chance to kill an enemy, 50%, but yeah, I think if I remember correctly this next one is even cooler, uh, but yeah, gains one additional part after victory, uh, same damage, ignores, oh it already ignored block, but yeah, and you can gain parts, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. All right. All right. And then we just need stats. Again, this guy's our main damage dealer. So we're putting exclusively in there. We might even just save it. Uh, I think we might as well. Yeah. Oh, his accuracy is actually kind of low. I wish I'd realized that. But yeah, let's buff his accuracy up as well. All right. I think this is our comp. And we're only bringing three. I hope I'm doing that right. We're only bringing three because we're going to fill one slot with the skeleton. Uh, and let's check artifacts here. Let's go ahead and go back to some of the stuff here. Well, this gives us permanent buffs on our units, so that's pretty good. Uh, starting with Full Wrath is pretty decent. We were using this for one additional part. It's kind of irrelevant, but features. every little bit helps. And... When an enemy moves, we do have some shuffles, so this could actually be good, but I think six attack on everyone is also pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And lastly, do we want a consumable item? We could give them all experience. We could give let's give a rat this experience here. Actually, he's pretty close on his own. Let's wait. We should probably level so yeah, let's give all our units some experience here. And who do we have in here? That's fine. And I guess we might as well put our mummy in to heal up. 
All right, so yeah, hopefully this all works. We're trying something completely different here. Uh, those of you on YouTube, we're going to call the episode here and be right back with the, with the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.